everyone, welcome to this D&D Ox Venture. I am Dr. Professor Corazon de Baena, PhD. <laughs> Good, no, no one's questioning that. Excellent. <laughs> welcome. Cool, I'm Egbert, the Dragonborn Paladin. Atonement, <laughs> maybe on the cards. <laughs> we'll see. Prudence, the tiefling warlock. I'm into murder and melting faces. <laughs> I am Merowen, the wood elf druid, sometimes cat, sometimes bear. <laughs> I'm Dob, the half-orc bard, just along for a good time. <laughs> and I'm literally everybody else in the world. <laughs> so, the adventure continues. Uh, you, as ever, are looking for somewhere to just relax. For God's sake, when are we going to get to relax? <laughs> We're so have tired. <laughs> a simple, uncomplicated time without adventure, without any murder, some murder maybe. <laughs> Guys, since we started ad adventuring, has anyone slept or been to the bathroom? No. <laughs> and yet your spell slots <laughs> recharge. It's a mystery. Um, <laughs> you, basically, as you uh, crest a hill and see a little township spread before you, you realise that this is not going to be the place where you get some, oh my some rest and relaxation. Who could have guessed? I mean, it's not that it is not on fire or anything. Not yet. It just looks. <laughs> Give me time. <laughs> it just looks terrible. We like set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Uh, it just looks really, really run down. Like as you um, uh, sort of wend your way down the path you notice that all of the buildings are sort of like ramshackle, dilapidated. Some of them aren't even really buildings anymore. They're just sort of rubble and foundations. You pass a sign uh, that says, uh, you know, it's a, a welcome sign. Uh, so many of the letters have fallen off that it just says, uh, welcome to bum. <laughs> um, so I always wanted to visit bum. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so expensive. Uh, that's true. <laughs> uh, but now you're... What? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure what that applause is for. <laughs> Me neither, but I'll take hey, it. If we've got applause, that's fine. <laughs> um, so as you start to, to walk down through the buildings of Bum, uh, <laughs> you see a lot of sort of oh. pairs of eyes sort of watching you from windows, and um, you sort of get a sense that in the back streets of this place, Lots of people are sort of moving around and following your progress through the town. Um, and indeed, as you sort of reach the center, which is a big sort of square, with the one thing that looks to be in decent repair, actually, in, in the entire town, it's sort of a big, weird crypt with a, a massive spire, um, you realize you've drawn a massive, massive audience. Oh, uh, guys. Oh, Corazon fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Uh, this always happens. Um, all right. I mean... Try and try and get out of here before I get mobbed. I cast selfie. <laughs> <laughs> so Dob just gets out an easel, starts, <laughs> starts filling that in. It's really bad. It's like a little <laughs> stick figure, Corazon. I turn to the crowd and I say, "Yes, yes, it's me, Corazon de Bayena. I know the pirate." Okay, who wants me to sign anything or? Uh, um, er everyone sort of looks double at double each take other, selfies like, if you want. Uh, um, I know Eventually, I can be a bit overwhelming. A man on the front row just gets nudged forward. He's like, uh, uh, and he approaches like, he hello. Hi. You're not tourists, are you? Well, sort of. Yeah. We don't live here, so. Yeah. Yeah. We just, <laughs> we just came to see the bum. Yeah. <laughs> Did you this come? wonderful bum we've heard so much about. <laughs> Your words are kind, friend, but clearly you can see that bum is not a pleasant place. <laughs> Shouldn't have called it bum. Shouldn't have called it bum. This is... We, <laughs> we are a poor and destitute people. But at least it's clean. <laughs> yes, we're fastidious about that. <laughs> so, so, tell me, um, does this place have like a longer name? Is bum short for anything? <laughs> I really should have thought of this. Uh, <laughs> bub. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've, heard, I've heard of a place called Bumble. Bumble, yes. That was our name. Hey. Hey. Oh, it seems so long ago that Bumble 
the place where it turns out we live <laughs> was in full working repair. Now there are so many things that need doing. The town hall is crumbling. The school is... Well, I'm just... Well, what's the pub? The yeah. pub is knackered. It's, <laughs> it's got no furniture, much less anything to drink. It's probably be better if it's got no furniture, based on our yeah. previous exploits. Oh, I see. Um, but listen, uh, I mean, if you're, not, are you, you're not tourists, or, or you sort of are, but are you handy, handy people persons? I mean, God, God no. Oh. Uh, right. Um, speak ah. for yourself. I mean, it's not, it's not, we're not looking for charity. We're not a charity case. Just, we've been trying to sort this thing for ourselves. It's, the legend is that the, the tomb in the center of Bumble <laughs> has, um, has ev everything we might need to rebuild this place and, and make it new. It's just that no one, no one seems to be able to get in. Well, what's, what's, what's in there, do you know? Is it, is it cash? Cash money? Why isn't the council sorting this out? <laughs> there is no council in Bumble. Well, form one! <laughs> Let's do that for the next 90 minutes. <laughs> All right. Okay. First order of business. Yeah. yeah, we'll need to register as a corporation with the, uh, the local governance. Of course. Of course. So uh, let's yeah. go and find that paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> so this crypt, this, this mad spirey crypt, who does it belong to? Who's buried in there? Oh, well, his name was Ethelfrith. Uh-huh. Ethel, Ethelfrith the Builder. Mm. He was a great builder. <laughs> Some say he built Bumble <laughs> himself. And uh, there is a great magic on his tomb. That's why it's not gone to the dogs. And well, anyone who could go in there could surely help us out and restore us to a great and proud people. Well, I hope you meet them, friend. Anyway, guys, should we? <laughs> you want to get out of this Let's place? Let's go in the tomb ASAP. What I want to know the tomb for. I want to know what the thing is. Magic it might be a magic hammer for building. Yeah. What do we want one of those for? For building. <laughs> you could also probably use it to hit stuff with. I don't want to hit stuff. Is it, is it valuable, this hammer? Well... <laughs> Tell us about the hammer. <laughs> All right. If, if there were, if, I mean, uh, you're jumping to a lot of conclusions. We if sure there are. were indeed a hammer inside, why? Come on, we should... Much Probably then, yes. Let's help, <laughs> guys, let's help the town of Bumble. But why? Money, treasure. <sighs> let's go and get the treasure. Oh, right. treasure. I don't even know if there's any treasure in there. Got How about this? Treasure in there. If we get down to the crypt and yeah. it's cool and dry, yeah. we could Skeletons. all go to sleep there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I would love that so Wouldn't much. that be good? We yes. could roll the rock in front of the door again and just sleep for a thousand years. And have a sleepover in this crypt. Yeah. Maybe they have a toilet down there. We could all go. <laughs> Finally. I've been holding it in for so long. I know. All right. Oh, Bumble could use one of those as well, <laughs> if you're of a mind. All right, oh. let's go and check out this dumb crypt of idiots. <laughs> uh, okay, we, we approach the crypt. Okay. I approach in a really annoyed way, like, ugh. I approach in a really positive way, scrying for dark magics or any kind of magics upon the crypt. Okay, uh, uh, yep. I do the same, but looking for druidic. Okay, anyone who's looking for that sort of thing can make me an intelligence arcana check. Ooh. Um, let's just, you know what, just roll it and I'll tell you the quality of information you receive. Sweet. Intelligence arcana, let's uh, go for... 14, 17. Mm. <gasps> um, <laughs> basically, you, you step up together sort of in step, and you both sort of lean forward simultaneously, and you, um, you see an inscription um, that says, uh, Ethel Frith the Builder, let only those with the courage to remake cross this threshold. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> courage, you say? You want to feel courageous? No. I bet you're pretty courageous. I'll go on then. All right. Um, and I'm not very good at building things, so is that a problem? Nah. All right. <laughs> so there's a big door with an archway. I step back. Yep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I shield my eyes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? It's just like a big stone door. In fact, that, that's where the inscription was writ large. Right. What's the plan? Give it a hit it with my mace. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's fine. That will be a strength check. Um, and yeah, obviously, add your proficiency bonus for the mace. Mm. And um, Cool. Uh, what's the armor class on a door? <laughs> Hello? Let's call it an eight, not to miss the door. Okay. Two. <laughs> 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 well, 
Plus four. Plus four. Bang. Plus two proficiency. So eight. Oh! So everyone sees Egbert sort of step back. He brings his mace behind his head and sort of like, it just looks like he trips. But he just <laughs> goes, bonk, bonk. And the door just goes, boof, into a series of just like fragments of stone. Uh, and behind it is uh, just, basically it's a wall um, right there. And it's just like, it looks like obsidian or something like that. Oh, like, oh, oh. What, what, Oof. what, what? Ooh, what? Um, I, I cast mending on the door. Why? <laughs> Courage to rebuild. We just, we're we trying just... to get through the door. Yeah, but only those with the courage to remake or whatever. Let's remake it. Prove our courage. Then we will still be outside. Yeah. <laughs> you got the magic undo button and you're going to undo all of Egbert's We can hit work. it with the mace again. <laughs> all right, fine. I <laughs> nearly missed the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I've wandered off and started drinking. <laughs> Basically, everyone watches. It, so it takes about 20 minutes. With Dob kind of like holding a piece. Well, let's like do it in real time then. Fishing around, <laughs> <laughs> fishing around for another. He's like, that, that, so gets a hand on that slowly. Like, eh, eh, Love eh. the jigsaw. Frankly, by the end of these 20 minutes, you're all pretty embarrassed. I was convinced this was a magic thing where you As just he sort of it back up. I mean, it is, but he's, he's got to, like, it's range touch and it's instantaneous. So he's magically Bad fusing magic. these right. things together, but he's Ed, still sort yeah. of like, eh. And then he takes the final piece and goes, ah. Edge pieces first. And. <laughs> As he places it there, uh, it gives, and the door just. Hey! <laughs> Let's call that teamwork, Dob. Let's call that teamwork. Couldn't have done it without you, Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> it couldn't have been meant, meant if it wasn't first smashed. Broke. Broke. Yeah. <laughs> As I always say. Dob's old motto. Um, Right, so you step into the crypt, this is all one room, um, and uh, light sort of pours in through the door, uh, and it seems like into the, the floor of this place, like a number of, it's almost like crystals have been laid that sort of refract the light, and just generally there's a glow that sort of <gasps> fuses the whole room. Valuable looking crystals, are we talking? <laughs> like Swarovski? I start prying the crystals out of the floor. Hey, the, it uh, might be in a really important order, or... <laughs> <laughs> the quality of the light in the room is, is, is spontaneously just getting worse as Coruscant starts <laughs> prizing crystals out of the floor, but you still manage to see there's... In the centre of the room, there's a large stone uh, tomb, I guess. Hang on. You can have a tomb in a crypt or a crypt in a tomb, I forget. There's a big old coffin. Um, <laughs> And uh, sarcophagus. on it is, yes, it's a sarcophagus. And on it is sort of a stone statue of a very uh, grand looking man who's got very broad shoulders. And um, they are holding sort of uh, across their chest, um, there is a giant hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Valuable looking hammer. Egbert high fives, Dob. They are just there like, meh. Um, and everything is stone, except, funnily enough, for the giant hammer which uh, is basically, it, it's like a, a, the, the staff of it is really long. It's like a big sledgehammer. I was just going to ask, was the builder Peter Gabriel? <laughs> be a bit of a stretch. I'm much less yeah, the older people in the audience get it. Thank you. <laughs> you, you uh -uh. <laughs> no, I'm not renaming Apple Frith. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's basically this pristine looking hammer. It could have come out of uh, a blacksmith's forge at like any time. Uh, no, not any time. Yesterday. Um, but, uh, but it's clear that everything else in here has been there for a long time. Well, this must be the hammer that we could use to repair the town. Yeah, weird that you knew about that. Just saying, it's weird. <laughs> Dob knows all sorts of stuff. Dob's a dark horse. <laughs> Dob's got stuff going on, you know. Makes, makes me wonder what else Dob knows. Doesn't it just? <laughs> Dob's still got that egg. No references to last night's show, Dob. Sorry. <laughs> you know, the egg that you gave me to look after. Yeah. There we go. Con so you wouldn't throw our gold into the lake. How is that egg, by the way? It's egg but one. Perfectly the egg. Perfectly safe. We're not calling it egg but one. We're calling it egg, egg one. But, I don't want to be egg but two. Well, you should have thought of that before you it were less be good than an egg. egg but one, and I'll be egg but A. Merylwen. While they're chatting, do you want to check out this hammer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Okay, so you both go up uh, to... Combine forces of magic inspection. Yes. And inspect the hell out of this hammer without touching it okay. yet. Also, I'm going to look <laughs> at it through my telescope. He's going to look at it through his telescope. Okie dokie. Um, oh, yeah. Just another intelligence arcana check, please. Um, and you can do me an investigation check, please, Corathon, which, of course, is tied to intelligence. Four. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. <laughs> all right. Oh, this thing... Shh. This thing is magic as all hell. Right? <laughs> this thing is as magic as all hell. It's you really like you can feel power radiating off it. To be honest, you feel you're, power radiating. You're amazed yeah, that, that Marilyn hasn't. It just seems to be like uh, Marilyn. I'm amazed that you're just like. Mm. <laughs> uh, Dorothon, this thing's not even properly secured. Like this could be stolen. Yeah, guys, I reckon we could get this hammer out like super easily. Basically, like the statue just has like two, like where his hands are. They look like fists, but they just got two holes cut in them. You just feed it out. Slotted it in. All right. mm. I'm keeping an eye. Is, is there any like uh, levers or mechanisms that look like they might be trap related? Out oh. it. Let's grab it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wait, Dob, go for Dob it. Dob volunteers to grab yeah. it. No, last time Dob picked up something, something bad happened. So I think yeah, that can bad will happen probably happen once. again. But let's see what happens. <laughs> so Dob. Uh, yeah, let's mm. grab the hammer. Wait, mm, mm, mm. wait. Stop. Hammer Stop. time. Hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can, I, can I pick it up using Mage Hand Ledger Demand? Yeah. Cool. All right. Don't drop it. I'm not going to drop I'm really good at magic. Probably the best of the group, I expect. <laughs> So, let me just see if I remember how this goes. Uh, magic hand, come out of my real hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all of the other magic casters in the room, which is to say all of the other people in the room, and they're going like, this is a bit much. It's uh, basically, uh, it's invisible, isn't it, Mage Hand? Yeah, yeah, it's invisible. Yeah, so it's basically I'm, I'm striking like, like a cool, uh, like, I'm like this, I'm like, Argh! I'm making oh, it look cool. like a load of effort. But true enough, the, uh, the hammer does kind of go... And it starts to come out and pull out, and it, after it sort of clears um, the, like, the hand, uh, like the, the, the hands holding it, uh, it sort of levitates up, and it is now just above the sarcophagus, like... Oh. See that, guys? Little thing called magic. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah. Now what are you going to do with it? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you do something? <laughs> <laughs> um... All right, I, I walk up and, and pluck the hammer from the air. Great. Okay. Okay. Nothing happens. Ah. Uh, cool. For a few seconds. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then the ground beneath you starts to shake and quiver and kind of rumble, and you're all there like, Ooh, this is bad. Dust is coming down from the ceiling. Um, you don't think the building is coming down, but like, it, no, it doesn't feel great. And then uh, a hand. Just a skeletal hand appears from under the earth. Uh oh. And another. Oh, and another. God. And another. Until it's like you're standing in a forest of arms as they sort of push and grab and scrabble. And about 60 skeletons ah. sort of come to their feet and now stand arrayed around you. And they just stand. I there. whack a mole as many of them as I can <laughs> as they're coming up. All right. Um, Fine, you basically like boom. <laughs> as soon as you knock one down, it starts coming up again as you move on to the next. Oh no. Um, and they all basically, apart from the ones that are still getting up because they're being just <laughs> reinserted into the ground. I'm just doing um, the same three in the corner. <laughs> Brilliant. The others uh, are just standing there, so a silence falls on the room Ooh. apart from boom. Go for a high score, you guys. <laughs> uh, I cast Dissolve Bones. <gasps> Is that a thing you have? No. Yeah. <laughs> I just got Corazon. So. I thought I could confidence it out, maybe. Love your optimism. You now have disadvantage on your next two rolls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, That's fine, because I don't know what that means. So, <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. <laughs> You're all standing there. It's all very, very tense um, until, as one, the skeleton's jaw jawbones start to move, and they speak, and they say, we are Ethelfrith's chosen. Hi. Nice to meet you. Cool. <laughs> In life, we serve the builder, 
Now we are sworn to serve they who wield the hammer until their death. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and on average, how long is that? Don't really know. <laughs> First time it's happened. Cool. Man, I can't believe Dob gets a skeleton army. Yeah. Skeleton <laughs> army. Skeleton oh, army. Dob, let's see that hammer for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say something. <laughs> uh, the skeletons kind of all at once make a sort of conciliatory gesture and like, it's really more of a team thing. Okay. <laughs> I well, is it though? Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Just go, slowly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> skeletons. Hi. Hi. It's <laughs> wonderful to meet you. Um, I know it's always a, a big day and a bit of a thing when you meet the new bosses. Um, oh, what are they going to be like? <laughs> but I, uh, I hope we get off on the right foot. I think later in the week we should all go for like an ice-breaking team-building thing. Um, casual Fridays. Casual Fridays. Let's do that. Wear whatever you want. Your bones, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Go and play paintball. That's where you get a big ball full of paint and you're just... I don't know how hard it is to hit a skeleton in paintball. <laughs> Sorry. That's Speaking why... of team building... Yeah. Let's get this team building. <gasps> yeah! Right. All right, skeletons. Let's get up there and without any word of explanation to the town folk, let's start... <laughs> and I mean that. That's a rule, skeletons. We get up there. Let's fix up the town. If anyone from the town says anything to you, you just hiss at them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone form a conga line as we... <laughs> There's a lot of clacking as 60 <laughs> skeletons line up and just like... <laughs> grab each other's hips. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit weird. Are they doing the legs? Of course they're doing the legs. It's a conga line. They're not amateurs. Okay, so basically, the Guild of Venturers wielding an absolutely massive hammer, proceeds out of the crypt that has never before been opened in the memory of Bumble, <laughs> followed by 60 dancing skeletons. <laughs> the people, needless to say, recoil in horror, and there is much shrieking. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry. Do worry. <laughs> yeah. Do worry. It's Nor the pirate. Uh, Dob. We, th 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 this is going to take ages to explain, but everything's going to be fine. Skeletons fixing up the place. Skeletons to fix in. A do, 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 do. Hey. <laughs> do, do, do. Everybody grab some tools wherever you can find them. We're going to fix it up. Bumble's going to be buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Oh, like a bee. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Pass on, you can have inspiration. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> no, you can. No, wait, that means you can just negate the disadvantage. Yeah! You can't. You said it. Can't take it back. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, uh, basically, so you've basically commanded them to go pick up some tools. Uh, yes. Right, well, they all, it's, they're, well, they're all being respectful enough. They're kind of like, they break the conga line and they start sort of like... I didn't say break the conga line. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they reform the conga line <laughs> and they start snaking their way around the town and any time they... Like, the one in front sees something, they're like, that's a hammer. They pass it back, and they're like, da 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 Six hours pass. <laughs> uh, until everyone appears to have some form of tool. During this time, the townsfolk seem to have calmed down a bit, mostly because being terrified for six hours is exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> but some, uh, some plucky people have actually drawn up a, a little uh, like list of, of town problems uh, as if oh, we were evident enough um, for you to, to sort of take a, a look at. Top of the list is uh, the town hall, which needs rebuilding, because it's basically just rubble and dust. Mm -hmm. I, th I think we should, yeah, go for the town hall first. Sure. Because, you know, that's the centre of this town. It's where everyone can have all their meetings. It really is the focal point of the community, I think, yeah. I'm not really feeling all these good deeds. I'm going to go hang back and sit for my tie. I'm napping in the, cri I'm napping in the crypt. <laughs> yeah. I dispatch a team of five skeletons to do whatever Prudence wants to do. 
Okay. So I have many the five deaths. skeletons bear me aloft. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got and parade me around the town square. Fifty-five worker skeletons. While I drink a mai tai. And a five skeleton palaquin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I dispatch four of the skeletons to form a little skiffle band with like washboards <laughs> and like a double base made of bones. They don't, yeah, they're using the rib cage as a washboard. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, um, it's, yeah, it's okay. You can have the double base, but uh, from there on out, it's washboards and dial phone so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and maracas. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, I just woke up from my nap. What's going on, Dob? I, why are we rebuilding the town? They're well, doing as good you, deeds. As you can hear from the good sounds of Skeleton Samba, we're about to fix up the town hall. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. That's whatever. Are you I'm getting right. paid for this? Um, everyone's Imagine. getting paid for this. Oh, what? Not us, though. Sounds like community <laughs> to me. Uh, we, we, fix up, we want to fix up the town hall, please. Just okay. hit the yeah. town hall with the big magic hammer. Yeah. Yes, oh. magic. Should we see if that works? Yeah, yeah. smash it. Yes, right. it's really a magic hammer. Okay, I smash the hammer into the town hall. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> True enough, what little was left of the town hall <laughs> very much yeah. obliterated. Like, I, I would say a good fifth of the stone that you might have been able to use for the town hall is now just dust on the wind. <laughs> but the skeletons have sort of got like a fresh look to them. <laughs> sort of just powdery, grey. Mm -hmm. It's not that big of an adjustment, really. Cool. But yeah. Where's that guy we were talking to earlier? Can I, is he around? Yeah, he's just sort of part oh. of the throne. Hey. Uh, so, yeah, you remember you said go in the crypt and the, uh, the amazing magic hammer would be there and we could fix up the town with it. Yes. So we got the hammer. It was easy. Um, I got the hammer. Uh, but it w it's not working. We just hit the town hall with it and nothing happened. Um, well, I... Yeah, but we command a skeleton army and they can do the fixing. Yeah, but the magic hammer. The, the hammer needs to be magic for it to be worth money for me to sell it later. <laughs> anyway, look, we're fixing fix up the town hall. Skele we, uh, the skeletons are ordered to fix up the town hall. I'm, so you're I'm gonna so annoyed this isn't a magic hammer. The 51 remaining skeletons. It is magic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just because okay. it commands a skeleton army, it should do ma fixing. What do your ordinary hammers do? <laughs> do all sorts. <laughs> do they command skeleton armies? Do they? All right, fine, the skeleton armies All right, do, let's I fix guess. the town hall. Can we do it in a montage? Yes, I was about to say you were about to have... <laughs> Full on montage. <laughs> There's like cheerful music playing, and everyone's grabbing a tool, and 51 skeletons are just amassing on this town hall, and they're lifting stone, and they're putting it down, and it turns out they're really good at building drywall, hey. which is really stable, so this town hall's gonna last forever. Um, and eventually, they basically, finally, they put the roof on the place, and you step back to admire your work. Oh no, they've built a giant skull. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they've installed a skeleton king. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a perfect town hall. In fact, you, you can hear the um, sort of the, the man who was pushed out of line to talk to you in, in Bumble getting quite emotional. It's like it's wonderful. It's it's I know. Miraculous. Your totes welks. Where <laughs> so time to talk reward. <laughs> where did where did you get all of the stone? It's <laughs> skeletons. Yes. Where did you guys get the stone for this? <laughs> the orphanage. <laughs> Skeletons. What are you like? <laughs> Skeletons fix town hall. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Is this a, like Rouse the New Boss kind of thing? Because it's great. Um, Skeletons do bad? No, ske um, well... Uh, I'm coming around. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a teachable moment. Yes. Skeletons, um, you didn't do bad at all. This was our fault. We didn't clearly communicate our goals. Um, our aims were diffuse. Um, <laughs> it was instead down the, t the town hall, put up an orphanage. <laughs> uh, um, where's that dude who was the, the mayor or Mr. Lives Here? What's his name? <laughs> Mr. Exposition. Mr. Lives Here. <laughs> Mr. Lives here. Yes. What is the like the least important building here that we can tear <laughs> down, that we could tear down to use stone to rebuild everything else? Or is there a quarry Let's nearby? Let's get them to yeah, mine some stone. Yeah. Or we could just turn the Skeletons crypt into a. It, there's loads of stone in the crypt. It's an amazing building. Like we could just use all that. Oh, uh, we we've already no, 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 no. Yeah. The Skeletons will want to go back there. Yeah. There is a quarry. Yeah, let's go to the quarry. I like the desecrating the resting um. place. <laughs> okay, yeah, during the montage like would have been the time to mention the quarry. FYI. <laughs> I couldn't over the singing. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is fair. Yeah. I command the skeletons, go to the quarry and bring back uh, enough stone to build 
an orphanage, and also to build a whole town because we're, we're doing a complete renovation. And I mean complete. <laughs> okay, the skeletons go off, um, and there is much quarrying. Uh, and indeed, like pretty soon after, like surprisingly soon after you send them down, they, they start coming up. Um, goodness knows how they're carrying them. So they look like really well-hewn, big blocks of stone. Like, if you were going to build an orphanage out of anything, oh boy. You want to keep those orphans in. Exactly. <laughs> Um, okay, so eventually the skeletons <laughs> are standing in front of like a whole town's worth of orphan-proof blocks, <laughs> um, and they'd sort of they'd, they'd sort we of go on their idle. From those orphans, <laughs> they sort of go on their idle animation. Uh, apart from obviously the palaquin and the band, they're still. Guys, this hey. is going really well. Like normally we'd have fought a giant crab by now or something. <laughs> Don't jinx it. I'm suspicious. Yeah. Well, Don't be suspicious. Hey, skeletons are the best. Yeah, it's fine. They just need clear instructions. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, um, skeletons, mm. without uh, hurting or disadvantaging anyone, <laughs> um, why don't you um, continue to do a fantastic job by building an orphanage out of this stone and also by fixing up the whole rest of the town? Probably leave them to it. I mean, I, it, it, it would be responsible to, you know, oversee a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to micromanage, but also don't want to be absent, you know. Yeah. Can we, okay, let's rebuild the pub first. Mm. And then we can go to the pub while they do it. Okay, I dispatch, I dispatch half the skeletons to do the orphanage, half to do <laughs> the pub, and I, and I tell all the skeletons when you're finished, meet up. You know what? In fact, I delegate this to one skeleton who looks like he knows what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I love that you, yeah. you're the scheduling skeleton. I love that with the infinite possibilities of fantasy role-playing, you've given yourself a middle management. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. And you're really loving it. I've, given, I've just given the skeleton the middle management. <laughs> I'm at the top of the tree, baby. Um, the skeletons have all formed a huddle amongst themselves. Oh, no, they're oh, unionizing. Which feels <laughs> <laughs> it does feel weird since they speak as one, but, you know, apparently they're doing it. Um, that even the band is in there, and Prudence, you are slap bang in the middle. Like, it's like it's now like you, you, you can still feel there? the palanquin underneath you. Yeah. But it's now more like you're on an inflatable in a in a pool of skeletons, Ooh. and you can hear them sort metal. of mumbling <laughs> with each other. Yeah, you're feeling great right now. In fact, like the band's sort of like sensing the mood strike. They just like really detune all of the the, the instruments to stop thrashing out some. I'm loving it. Really good stuff. Um, and then they sort of eventually turn and troop as one with uh, the, their Prudence hat uh, back to the group. And they're like, oh, quite broad brief, boss. There's, there's lots of things at once. <laughs> okay, that is fair. I am listening to your concerns. <laughs> uh, ha happy being laborers, boss. Not in it for management money. <laughs> well, well, there's no management money. <laughs> oh, the skeletons could go to the lake later, later, later. Can't help, can't help notice no HR department either. <laughs> All right. I appoint one of the skeletons to be HR. I appoint one of the skeletons to be finance. <laughs> uh, I appoint one of the skeletons to be... What else is there in the... IT. IT. <laughs> <laughs> and the remaining... If there are any skeletons left... <laughs> Um, yeah, I would like you, please, to build the orphanage first, if that's, if that's cool. You guys build doing, orphanage. You guys are doing a great mm -hmm. job. Yes, build the orphanage, please. Simple. Thank you. Can get. Build orphanage. Yes, right. yes, cool. All right. We're all learning together. That's good. Skeletons have, have upbeat music again. Oh. And then, <laughs> the skeletons, they don't spring into life, obviously. They're re the reanimated dead. That would be ridiculous. But they all pick up uh, blocks of stone, and with a will, they set to, and they start building an orphanage that could hold basically all of the orphans. And there is room for more, but that's quite an upsetting prospect, so let's not <laughs> think about it. Um, but either way, it's got a, a rec room and all sorts of things, and it looks table? wonderful. Hmm? Is there a pool table? Yes. Yeah. Um, and nice, the skeletons kind of stand there, and dramatically, like, you hear the rasp of hands on bone. <laughs> 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 And some dust just falls off, off as they sort of shake their hands. Don't do that anymore, skeletons. Orphanage, boss. Cool. Says. Okay, orphanage built. Good. What's next on the list, Marilyn? Uh, 
Pop? Please. Thank God. All right. Yes, just to shut him up. Okay, next, please build a pub. A bar and call it the Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, everyone, just make me a... Um, uh, don't get killed by skeletons. Wisdom perception yeah. check. A good time to call over. this a five. <laughs> Look forward to missing that one. Uh, one. <laughs> Twenty-one. Oh! Did you roll a natural twenty? You didn't. You rolled yeah, seventeen. Seventeen or so. Okay. Uh, I got nine minus one, so eight. It's just the gift. That <laughs> okay. Um, Dob, to you, this looks like a fine orphanage. Anyone should be should be proud to to, <laughs> to stay there. Um, to the rest of you, it looks like a very wet orphanage, and a very red orphanage. <laughs> Oh, no. Prudence got her red room full of blood. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, it, yeah, it, it looks like it's... I mean, it looks sturdy. There's big blocks involving some kind of mortar. And basically, you're like, yeah, this looks... Again, basically, the both of you are like, great orphanage, everybody! <laughs> and the skeletons are standing there just looking pleased as punch. They're grinning, in fact. <laughs> now, I don't know what the kids are into nowadays. <laughs> But yeah. I don't think it's blood orphanages. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, what stone did you use? Stone boss from Quarry. Wh what about the mortar? Is it orphans? You've got to tell us if it is. <laughs> ah. It's orphans, boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Skeletons do bad? Skeletons, I... Dub, 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 dub. Yes. Where's your orphanage? It's made with orphan cement. <laughs> so on the bus... It's all ground up orphans. On we the don't need an orphanage anymore. We no we longer need to build an orphanage. Yeah. <laughs> we could turn it into the pub. It's already got a pool table. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, skeletons. Ah! Uh, <laughs> us, us is one orphans? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> suddenly raised tools. Us is one orphans? No, 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 no. Leave all the parents in town alone. Yeah, leave the parents intact and alive and breathing, thank you. Skeletons, uh, might I have a word with my fellow sea level executives? <laughs> um, <laughs> Prudence just goes bump <laughs> and a ring of skeletons just sort of go bump, 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 bump. Okay. Okay. Hi. Okay. Yeah, oh, guys. I feel like the skeletons are a bad idea. I feel like the point. I feel. I love these loophole right. skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, okay, here's a plan. Yeah. We test whether these skeletons are cursed by asking them to do something very, very simple and innocent, okay. and seeing if anything bad happens. I love it. Okay. I mean, we've oh. let's, sort of let's... already done that. <laughs> <laughs> right. Let's give it a, a puppy and tell it to build a <laughs> no for the puppy. No! No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, I call over one skeleton. Uh, skeleton, I have one a job for you, if it's all right, and this is all I want you to do. Uh, do you see that pebble on the floor? Yes. What I, what I would like you to do is pick it up and raise it to head height. That is it. <laughs> it kind of reaches out and just picks up a little tiny pebble and raises it to head height. Skeleton do good. Seems fine to I'll me. argue with yeah. the adults. Yeah. yeah, skeleton do good. Skeleton, take <laughs> a puppy. No. <laughs> uh, okay. How about a primary school? <laughs> <laughs> skeleton, relax now. Uh, yeah, skeleton, relax now. Yeah. <laughs> Whips the stone away without really looking, and you do hear a distant like, ah! Oh, man, okay, so it did go bad, didn't yes. it? Yes. Okay, so we think wow. the skeletons are cursed. Yeah, it's like these skeletons we found in a crypt <laughs> <that> are bad, <laughs> somehow. They clawed their way out of the ground. Uh, all right, this is going to be a real hard conversation with the skeletons. Yeah, we need to like explicitly say that they can't murder or maim anyone. Just no, no hurting. Should we do another test? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, skeleton. Uh, yes. I call back the same skeleton. 
Okay, I mean, it, it's much of a muchness since that one is replying there and 59 of them are oh, yeah, yeah, over yeah, there yeah, going, yeah, yeah. yes! Uh, okay, skeleton, without hurting or harming anyone or anything, I would like you to just uh, hop on one leg for 10 seconds. <laughs> God, I wish we'd built that pub. <laughs> Skeleton sort of like lifts its leg and sort of puts its arms out for balance. And sure enough, like bonk, 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 bonk. Ten whole seconds, lovely hopping. In fact, 59 of them over there are doing it. Uh, okay, cool. That seems to go fine. So they can do hopping. Yeah. <laughs> Not normally, boss. <laughs> Not How normal. did the service? Um, well, I mean, I'm trying to find out if there's some sort of like sarcastic curse on the skeletons. I mean, things always go bad, or whether we weren't specific enough in our instructions, and that's why all the orphans got crushed. <laughs> Incidentally, I would like to attempt to cast Mend on the Orphans. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to need this. <laughs> I can't open it, so I won't. Oh, there oh, we go. You go, you go. Oh, there it goes. You're Big going deep, to try and put together an entire orphanage full of orphans. I, okay. <laughs> Could this go so badly wrong that it's worse than they were all dead? Zombie orphans, I hear. Um, you. Can, can we get them out of the brickwork first? I don't know. We might need like a sponge or. <laughs> Is this a bad idea? What do you guys think? Should we try and mend the orphans? Yes or no? Give it a whirl. Why not? You're asking our advice now after you've made an orphan. <laughs> Can't believe you murdered all those orphans. Yeah. Though. This is appalling, even for you. <laughs> this is the most orphans you've ever murdered in one go, Dob. I'm appalled. Bosses want orphans back. Yes. Well, uh, do. <laughs> Skeletons do. Yeah. Could you? Easy as hopping. Uh, I want to see these uh, orphans, man. Uh, do we want the skeletons to try and bring the orphans back? Zombie orphans. <laughs> Oh, come um, on. Um, <laughs> you could have so a zombie orphan army and a skeleton army. <laughs> They've started to warm to Prudence. <laughs> Skeletons. Uh, From behind yeah, Prudence, this is your birthday it. present. Yeah! <laughs> okay, all right, for Prudence's birthday. Um, yes, yeah, skeletons, please try and bring back the orphans. And I don't know if this is going to make much sense to you, but if you can just try and keep things as unhorrifying as, <laughs> as possible. You, under you understand basic human sentiment. You understand what people, uh, what sentient living creatures are revulsed by. If you could try and keep that to a minimum, that would be so great. 60 heads go, <laughs> look at the orphanage, <laughs> back to you. And you've never seen a skeleton raise an eyebrow before, but you reckon <laughs> they've just about done it, but they're like, Okay. Just, just do your best. Okay. <laughs> um, they form two lines of 30 skeletons, and they all just kind of cast their hands out. And uh, sure enough, the orphans just sort of start to, like, zzzup, <laughs> slip out um, from between the, uh, the, the bricks in the orphanage. And then they just sort of go, <laughs> Happy birthday, Prudence! You've, <laughs> you've just got a big... what I asked for! Got a big pile of... Mixed orphans. <laughs> oh, no. Orphan paste. Done, boss. <laughs> Meant. <laughs> Guys, hey, I feel like five we're not endearing ourselves to the townspeople <laughs> super well here. He said, easy as hopping. Same mechanism. Blood magic. <laughs> you can do blood magic. Yes, I did hopping. <laughs> <laughs> skeletons, I want to be mad, but I like you guys. Um, <laughs> 60 skeletons slap their own thighs. <laughs> Uh, I feel like this Ethelfrith, the, the, the builder, may have been some kind of blood trickster. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Trickster. Yeah, yeah. For real, for real. Possibly? For real, for real. Do you want to investigate or maybe just... Why don't we ask the skeletons, skeletons about Ethelfrith? Yeah. Oh, all right. Hmm? Yeah. Hey, skeletons. Skellies. <laughs> Tell us about this Ethelfrith. What's the deal with Ethelfrith? What was he like? Good man, was builder. And? Uh, good boss. Yes. Uh, good, good pay. Yes. Uh, blood magic at all? Uh, no. Oh, no. just a regular no. builder. Uh, we were regular builders. We still are. Well, uh, not that regular. <laughs> were, were you always skeletons? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you were builders, that is. Well, see these bonds? Yes. What you are now, we yes. were once. Okay, cool, cool. What we are, you will be. Yeah. yeah. That sounds like a threat to me. <laughs> I hit one of them on the head with a mace. <laughs> 
Huh? I hit one of them on the head with a mace. Whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you attacking the skeleton army? You plant him. He's just like, <laughs> bonk. <laughs> it doesn't seem to move. It's oh, like, okay, that's... You hear 60 skeletons go, just wait, he stopped. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what... Well, um, skeleton sensing boss is not happy with business arrangement. Uh, uh, we're, we're fine, we just want less... Less horror. Orphan juice. In fact, I, I'm going to go all the way and say no orphan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And clean up orphans. Uh, 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 oh mend, 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 mend. All right, um, I'm going to cast mend on the <laughs> orphan. Imagine you making a snowman out of orphan. <laughs> it is pretty much going to be that. Okay, well then, <laughs> I'm going to get his off. Uh, I'll both believe. Eyes. Okay, okay. okay, I don't know I've what to do. Guys, I've got, I've got a task. I think we should. Uh, I'm curious about this blood magic. I Dobbs think we should investigate the origins of this blood magic that resurrected these ordinary human builders and turned them into skeletons. Do you think there's something more in the crypt that we... I mean, we went in there, got the hammer, and immediately left. There might have been more stuff down there about maybe how to use the hammer. Or oh, how instructions. To use. instructions. You know, never yeah. read yeah. the manual. <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we back into... Yeah, that's, I'm just going to wander back into the crypt and have a look around and see if there's anything we missed in our eight. You manage the, the skeletons. Crypt. Yeah. It's been going so well. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go for your team-building paintball. Yeah. Uh, well, all right, skeletons, okay. you've got a river and there's some chicken feed and a fox and a chicken. Okay. <laughs> we'll leave well, you to that. Well, they've heard of that chicken yeah. and fox. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to go back into the crib and see if there's anything in there that will help us with this whole uh, orphan murder situation. Yeah, sure. Do uh, an intelligence investigation check. Uh, try and beat 10. Uh, that is a 16 plus 4. 20. Very nice. Mm, uh, 11. Okay. So, um, basically, the, the insides of, uh, of this tomb are, are carved. Um, and it's basically just like a, the life story of Ethelfrith, um, mm. about how they, they uh, were born as like the, uh, the son of a stonemaker, a stone worker, rather, and they sort of learned their father's trade, uh, and then had a grand vision of, of not only building a new, but like re replenishing the old, et cetera, et cetera. And they lived a full and happy life, and then they died, and their final words were all about how they wished they could continue their legacy, um, at which point, the, basically, the, the, the people who uh, served him, they were so enamored with him that they, it, it's a little bit vague here, because it, they sort of, it's carved by them. It's like, we who served him sought a way that we might carry on his legacy even after death, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it seems like they contracted some form of warlock to, to work a powerful magic. Knew it. Uh, and warlock business. Warlock business. We basically, the, the, the only caveat they have sort of at the end is just like, uh, the, the warlock warned us we were getting into something gnarly, like really, really real. And basically, the only caveat is just be very specific <laughs> with us once we're back. Really should I'm have afraid. Yeah. yeah. We okay. Specific enough. How can we be as specific as possible in rebuilding the town without murdering orphans? Could you please build a lovely pub <laughs> only made out of stone and mortar? No living creatures. Also, I would like one skeleton to uh, in, take a side. Skeleton, I would like you to jog to the next town and ask around. <laughs> Don't add layers. I was, I was thinking we right. could we could get them to recruit a warlock to come back and raise. We have orphans. a warlock. <laughs> oh, can you raise orphans from the dead? I mean, no, I'm still learning. <laughs> Are you going to send one? No. Jogging off to the. You want to send town? an unattended skeleton to the next town to talk to a blood magic warlock? <laughs> All right, fine. Not I think we have that. to give up the orphans. Okay, fine. Give up the orphans. Let's just chalk them up to your death count. Yeah. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> they all go on Dobbs' death count if everyone's counting. How many orphans was it? You uh, don't have to answer that, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> we'll call it 2D10. No. Oh, shh. <laughs> 15. Oh. oh. I rolled it in the open. It's canon. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow, Dob. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Dob sits on the floor <laughs> and stares at the floor. <laughs> you guys take care of the, this for a little bit. So we're not sending uh, skeletons. No. Okay. 
No, don't do anything Dob says. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, skeletons, build lovely pub. Yes, please. No use meat bits. No meat bits, no, no meat blood bits, no creature bits or anything. Wood, stone, mortar, nothing else. No living things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, like, hucking stones or, you know, sharp things. You must be careful. You must adhere to building like, um... regulations. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Well, you didn't appoint, like, a health and safety skeleton is the problem. That, that was the not... one you missed! <laughs> there was an HR. HR. It's not the same. Thing. It's HR under HR's purview. Different. Look, it's my organisational structure. They knew it was under the purview. I like saying the word purview. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So skeletons build pub then. Pretty I'm please. into this because I want to see who and how they murder. I just. Want a pub. <laughs> I, this is the longest I'm, we've gone without a drink. I'm watching just like this. Want a pub. And Prudence is. <laughs> okay. Do it, skeletons. They do it at like an <laughs> absolutely glacial pace. <laughs> you can see that they are using whatever it is that passes for brain power in skeletons, like at an astronomical rate to just not hurt anything. But they're like, <laughs> and like, then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're doing good. And they keep going. Positive reinforcement. <laughs> and eventually. Under your watchful gaze, they manage to build you a pub. Oh, thank Yay! God. Yay! Cheers. Great work, skeletons. Uh, uh, well done. Uh, you did yeah. good. You did good. Skeletons need drink. Uh, yeah. Skeletons uh, miss drink. Yeah. What, what do skeletons drink? <laughs> Boss not have to rub it in. Oh. <laughs> So just do that for every building in town. Yeah. And we'll be on our way. OK. <laughs> what next, Marilyn? What's on the list? Uh, There's a blacksmith, so it's good to do some work. There's a water wheel. There's a church. Um, I think, I think uh, well, water housing's always good, you know. Nice, nice houses. houses. Yeah, some nice houses. Nice housing. Yeah. yeah. You've never seen skeletons sweat, either. <laughs> You reckon they're just about managing it as they kind of laboriously, like, like weird slow-motion automatons, build a series of really, actually, very nice semi-detached houses. Um, I assume we've been here for three pairs. weeks now, yeah. based on the builders I've met. Oh, yeah. Forever. So, to be fair, you've been able to sneak off and have little naps. Hooray! Hooray! You've had to work in shifts, but for the first time in the most unlikely of places, You've managed to actually catch <laughs> up on some rest. Dob cannot sleep. Oh, Dob, you should be really proud. Your skeletons are doing great Dob, slow work. Dob <laughs> is mute, lying on the floor. Oh, no, we broke Dob. At the sky. <laughs> are you still oh. on those murdered orphans? <laughs> three weeks, man. It's been it was, three weeks. It was probably very quick being murdered by skeletons. <laughs> Can anyone else cast sleep? <laughs> on Dob? <Yeah. laughs> He needs uh, the rest, I think. No. Is that a, like a Can't bardic speak. song? It is a bardic. All right, let me have All a go. good. <laughs> Did that work? Job is not soothed. <laughs> <laughs> Still working on this. OK. But, um, yeah, OK, so, yeah, there are, there are houses in town. Um, and basically, as the project is finished, um, the skeletons come up to, um, to, to you, Prudence, and they say, uh, uh, skeletons, no, this is unorthodox, boss, but um, could skeletons request that boss call an all-boss meeting with skeletons? All right, everyone circle up. It's time for an all boss meeting. At the pub? Bosses. Yes, let's say at the pub. Yes. Skeletons. Let's uh, have a pub meeting. Cool. Um, <laughs> skeletons <laughs> saunter into the pub as you come in. They're just, it, they look like exhibits on, on uh, a well known uh, pirate themed ride that are just like eh, eh, <laughs> eh, eh, raising and lowering glasses and nothing's going in. Guys, this is brilliant. Having <laughs> <laughs> oh, a great time. Eh, eh, eh. 
But they look like they're really drinking with a will. Like, whatever it is they have to say, you reckon it's got to be big. Are they going to break up with us, guys? <laughs> Not until we die. <laughs> Not until you die. Until you die. Uh, uh, <laughs> it was a party thing. All oh, right, fine. Uh, Skeletons, it looks like something's on your skull. So, what's up, my dudes? Yeah. <laughs> Skeletons not quite know how to say this. You are breaking up with me, aren't you? <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> I can change skeletons. Skeletons. It's, it's no. not you, it's skeletons. <laughs> it's skeletons. Skeletons not happy with... Working conditions. Oh no! It's what does painful to skeletons for building okay. in nice way. Okay. Skeletons want end contract. Cool. Okay. Off you go. I mean, <laughs> no. Yeah. Mm. Unfortunately, the skeletons. skeletons not able to end contract unless. <laughs> <laughs> One second. <laughs> 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 Unless bosses uh, uh, dead, so or we could just smash you guys. Like that's the other way to get out of this. With all love in world, skeletons kill bosses now. Okay, right. <laughs> no I mean, one just, happy. Just the one boss, right? Exit interviews. Probably be long process. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you wish we had an army of zombie orphans now. <laughs> yes, I always wish that. <laughs> Skeletons not reanimate orphans in case of this contingency. Oh. <laughs> Skeletons, sorry. <laughs> Understand if not give good reference. <laughs> Look, we can't give a good reference if you murder us. Skeletons willing to take that chance. Uh, and a skeleton. So, no, no, sorry, I think you were about to draw weapons. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, rude to interrupt, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Skeletons Continue. open to negotiation. Ooh. I was just wondering, skeletons, your master is the one who wields the hammer. What if we were to gift the hammer to one of you guys? You could manage yourselves. <gasps> or that guy we talked to when we arrived at town, they could just kill him. Do you trust him to wield it responsibly? He can have his skeleton. <laughs> He'll be dead on. in 10 seconds. I'm a fan of one, we smash these skeletons. Yes. I'm a fan of that. Or two, we turn them, we emancipate them and turn, in, turn them into a, like a anarcho commune of skeletons. Yep. Roaming the land, murdering people. Chaos is a ladder, let them do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> or we t we'll tell 30 of the skeletons to murder the other 30 skeletons. And then we've only got 30 skeletons to smash. <laughs> <laughs> or even less, if some of them smash each other. Or even less. Oh, I love this. Skeleton battle royale. Hey, skeletons, how do you feel about smashing each other? Good. Hey, skeletons. You it's a kind of murder. Do you want to do a battle royale? <laughs> if, you... if we gradually reduce <laughs> the we, play yeah. space. <laughs> <laughs> Hast thou heard of the fable of Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's very popular fable. <laughs> um, I mean... You want to kill? You like taking orders? Skeleton battle royale. Skeleton battle royale. Egbert, do a big ring of fire around the skeletons. Okay. And make it sort of shrink every 30 seconds. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Um, you're going to generate a ring of fire? Yes. You're doing this in the pub? <laughs> in the streets. Okie dokie then. We could so easily just step outside of the town boundaries. But no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Hey, no more dob no ideas. That was the rule. <laughs> I, I was promised I'd get to burn this place down, so let's go. Oh, what? <laughs> Not all this. It was a waste of time. The skeletons were rubbish. Let's go. <laughs> so it's a skeleton battle royale. Yes. Hooray! I bring some uh, high-proof liquor out of the tavern and create, create a, ring. a ring, a really big circle. Maybe yeah. there should be a prize yeah. for the last skeleton or something. Freedom, freedom for the last skeleton. I love it. The last yeah. skeleton, the last skeleton the, hammer. the hammer. Cool. You know the bit where everyone's like, where do you think they really derailed? <laughs> <laughs> Was it the skeleton battle royale? I'm not saying it, wa <laughs> not saying it wasn't the skeleton battle royale. Um, we're... Uh, is the... <laughs> 
Yeah, of course. I was about to well, suggest <laughs> actually that I'm basically to fire. This is every be brilliant. Oh, no, there's only oh, there are six at the table, but I'm technically not. We'll have ten skeleton referees, and then each member of the Ox Venturers Guild can have ten skeletons. Yes. Yay. Let's go. Cool. And you get to have a skeleton fight with. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how I thought this was going to go. No one's going home anytime soon. Oh no. That's your evening plans. I warm up, like stretching. Oh yeah, I do my calisthenics. Oh, wait, you're actually getting involved. I thought you were just going to command them. I'm obviously. Oh, we command ten skeletons each. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, d or do you mean you're going to fight the skeletons? I thought we were just no, going to fight them. Oh, we can smash some skeletons. Oh, no, that would be great. Yeah. <laughs> all oh, right. Oh, thank God. I thought you were about to all of you be like, go, my ten skeletons. And <laughs> no. suddenly so I managed to roll 60 times. You have to roll 60 times. Yes, to me. <laughs> <laughs> No. No, yeah, let's let's do let's just have sixty skeletons fighting. Fine, let's just Woo! kill all these skeletons we can get out of this. Oh yeah, no, fight. real good. Like it. Okay, good. Um in that case, everybody, roll for initiative. Yeah. yeah. It's probably worth clarifying just before we begin that like we don't have to kill each other if it's yes. just the fight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's still ten skeleton referees, and they're going to be strict. Yeah, yeah, we're but we're no, five no, five no. we're in five-player squads, right? Math. That's the that's how we're yeah, we right. squad it up. Twelve, six, twelve. Okay. Oh wait, sorry, no, eleven. <laughs> Seven. That's six legit. looks a lot like an eleven. Three. Eleven. Uh, Three. Eleven yeah. was Meryl when, and then three was. You are now in a big old ring of fire. Um, and uh, there are 60 skeletons. They've all got basically like hammers and saws and tools and... Good. Um, Why did we let them keep those? <laughs> <laughs> you had to be specific. Um, and so, yeah, that's, they're ready to ruck. Uh, what are you going to do? Confer with Corazon real quick. Okay. What do you got against skeletons? <laughs> I cast grease. <laughs> How many skeletons can you get in t a ten-foot square? Sixty. <laughs> <laughs> ten f Fifty-nine. So we need you Thank to make sixty dex save rolls. <laughs> yep, perfect. <laughs> uh, let's see the dexterity. Ah, whoa, skeletons be dexterous. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Um, so just to be clear on the on the terms of the royale, there's the five of us on a team, and then are the skeletons in teams of five. We're trying to kill all the skeletons. Yeah, yeah, let's That's, kill all the skeletons. All together. But are they also fighting each other? Yeah. I, oh. I think they're team lucky. skeleton. You'd be lucky. We're up. team yeah. Ox Venture. Okay. Yeah. 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 Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> team. Later skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> What's your spell save DC, actually? Uh, 14. 14. Is the, wow. Yeah, I'm good at we, magic. We need to think um, oh, no way, bulk one. skeleton killing. I've got an idea. Oh, good. I know we said no more dob ideas. <laughs> Is it killing orphans, Dob? Because you've been pitching that all night. <laughs> I'm, no. Uh, sorry, carry on, carry on. Sorry. I'm, I'm like 60% sure no more orphans will die if I do this. Okay. I like those okay. odds. I like them, yeah. Okay. Um... Egbert, would you lend me your shield, which, if I remember, is massive and it's spiky. It's huge, yeah. I mean, it's, it covers my entire back, so you can, yeah, you can borrow it if you like. Okay, cool. You're not Let's hope I don't need it. You're not, you're not going to be able to give it over until Egbert's go. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, what I would say, though, is I bet that hammer good. works real good against skeletons. That's probably, being a magic hammer, it's probably like a cancel button, isn't it? If you just hit them on the head, they probably just fall apart. Or they get mended. <laughs> <laughs> What's a shot. All right, okay, so, well, yeah, so I've got the hammer, so that, that's something I could do. Yep, and now, you're right? also last in the initiative tracker. Oh, sorry. I'm still, sp yeah, gre grease is going yes. everywhere. Uh, right so <laughs> you catch six skeletons, uh, five of them, like, go, and like, stack it, and there's one in the middle that's just <laughs> fine, absolutely fine. Cool. <laughs> All right, I go for the one standing skeleton in okay. the middle of the grease with an Eldritch Blast. Okay. Yay! It's 
very powerful, but it is directed. So it's just going to be that one unlucky skeleton <laughs> standing in the grease, surrounded by all the downed skeletons. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, all right. So you, you're looking to beat a 13 with Ooh. your ranged spell attack. Okay. You get to add your charisma modifier. Yeah. Because you're a warlock. Okay. Oh. I'm doing my homework. Oh, it's only a nine. Oh. It just sort of. Yeah, it kind of like fumbling. This, there's this big crackle of energy in your hand, and it's, it looks very oh. sort of tentacly, and everyone smells the sea. And Cthulhu's like, "Come on!" <laughs> and then you know, like it's like when you need to sneeze and you don't. It just kind of goes. Oh, guys, I've effed it. <laughs> Prudence, you're on the same <laughs> side as the skeletons. Be honest. <laughs> you're going easy on these skeletons. Are you going easy on the skeletons? No. Oh, no, skeleton I love time. you. I just thought I'd check. We're all on Team Skeleton. It's just some of us have some flesh on top. <laughs> Aw, that's really nice. Okie dokie. Is it? I'll tell you what isn't nice is what's about to happen. No. Um, uh -oh. uh, Coruscant, be honest with me. Where were the skeletons that you cast Grease on? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, they were very far away from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't use cunning action. What? Uh, I can yeah. use a bonus action to dash, disengage, or hide. Can't. Uh, yeah, that would Not be once you've done it, I don't think. Really should read that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, for next turn, yeah. um, thank you for being honest with me. You're all about to get attacked by four skeletons apiece. No! Um, so, uh, Dob, what's yeah. your armor class? 16. 16. Okie dokie. And I am a special to hit. Okay, that's. No. Uh, no. Presumably, they have some, like, Leftover sentiment for me is their old gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> Remember they that time we went paintball? <laughs> One of them doesn't. Um, oh no. So that's. I never liked you, Kevin. Dob, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take seven points of damage. Oh, oh damn. Man, all right. Cool. Uh, Meryl, then, what's your armor class? 15 plus two with shield. Which I'm carrying. How convenient. <laughs> 15. So plus two with shield, 17. 17. Yep, no, it's still a hit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, mm. uh, you also get hit, I'm afraid. Oh. You take five points Oof. of piercing damage. Prudence. What's your armor class? Uh, 12. <laughs> Friend of the skeletons, Prudence. To give her her full name. Friends. <laughs> Why are you all looking at me like that? It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of dice. <laughs> oh, boy. I got a good feeling about this. How many hit points are You take 13 points of damage. Oh. Oh. Ow! Oh. Disemboweled again! <laughs> <laughs> oh, they, guys. They kind of all just like. Oh. Um, so yeah, you take like a stripe we over friends. there. Yeah, you do get a little bit of a dig in there. <laughs> That's 15 hit points. Did no, you say 13? 13. Of a total of 18. Yes. You're not, oh. not in trouble. <laughs> Guys, I'm not, not in trouble. Uh, Coruscant, what's your armor class? Uh, 15, yeah. plus two for Meryl Wen's shield, which I'm now holding. <laughs> <laughs> it was knocked free and you caught it out of the air, is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> All these dice roll. oh my, oh my god. god. There's a lot of adding up going on, and I don't like it at all. It's only nine points of damage. Okay. But it is still nine points of damage. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. That's, that's, that's okay. <laughs> um, then, Egbert, what's your...? 17. Oh, this will go fine. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. 
Who's coming next? Is it? Does anyone else feel a bit sick? Uh, it's, I, <laughs> not me. I had. Uh, I was like. Hey. Three or I hope you guys have got a plan over there. I bet you take six points of damage, my good friend. Ouch. I say ouch. Um, sorry. At least that's that's all of the skeletons for this turn. Oh my god. Um, for this turn. Yeah. Well, oh, sorry. The others are off in the background, sort of doing something. You're Stretches. not really sure. Cool. So, Warming up. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, five, four, tw twenty skeletons are, are sort of like arrayed in front of you. The other forty are just off together. To you're not really sure what they're doing. Why did we decide to fight sixty skeletons? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like they're at a rave, quite frankly. <laughs> a rave. Okay. Skeleton rave. Oh my. All right. <gasps> Who's next? Uh, it is now Marwen. Um, how close are they to us? I mean, four are very close. <laughs> um, and there are, like, there are four in front of everyone else. I don't know how you arrayed yourself. Were you, like, in a line or? Uh, like all of you as you entered the circle. Uh, uh, Did you drop randomly? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> clustered. Uh, clustered. Yeah, I clustered. I clustered. In. Okay, so it's let's tilted. say, let's say if, if they're, like, I say, if we're looking at a circle, we are looking at a circle. Let's say, like, the th there's a third of it, and it's just sort of like a skeleton melee, and you've all got your backs to the flames. Okay. And then there's a big sort of, like, no man's land, and then there's just a group of 40 skeletons doing something. <laughs> um, They're forming off. up into a big old okay. Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> better not be. Is there, is there like, a nice group of them in a 20-foot radius without any of them us near them? I mean, your speed is 35. So I reckon you can probably maneuver yourself into such a position. Mm, yeah. Breaking ranks is frightening, though. Um, I cast spike growth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so, um, remind me. <coughs> it's been a uh, while, and I blocked it from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't have the grease this time, so let's see. Well, actually, there's a little bit of there grease. Is, there's there's a little bit of grease. Um, right, a quarter of the skeletons that are caught, so five. Okay. Uh, are going to be greased. Oh, yeah, because that's so, how many there were. Uh, it's, a, it's a one action, 150 feet from wherever I want to, or like uh -huh. within that range. Yep. Uh, I've got seven sharp things, which I throw down in a nice 20 foot radius. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's uh, 2d4 piercing every five foot that they move. That and they move, okay. Wisdom perception. Alrighty and then. I'm hoping they're dumb. They are skeletons. Uh, if, if anything has been proven this session, it's that skeletons are stupid. Uh, okay, yeah, fine, 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 fine. Oh, that's very guy. Horizon, did those skeletons hit you with hammers too? Yeah, all over. <laughs> on my knees and face. Screwed up to it. ten minutes, Meryl went. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> You're really stringing my hams here. <laughs> How intelligent are skeletons? Not very. No. They're exactly as smart as Egbert. <laughs> <laughs> so if my skull were empty, I'd be no... No less dumb. And that to what be you're fair, we wouldn't have asked Egbert to build an orphanage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going well for the skeletons at all. <laughs> How many did we catch in the grease? It was was it six? Five? Five. 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 Yeah. Okay. Is this gonna be another one of those meat grinder? There's a bone grinder. Bone grinder. <laughs> bone grinder. Every last one of them has failed that. <laughs> <laughs> It's back! So we're taking, what, 2d4 piercing? 2d4 for every five foot they move. They're not going to take it yet, but they have failed the check. So if they... So I'll wait until they all move, because they are all going to move. Yeah. Good. Okay. Bloody hell. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Is that druidic, or...? <laughs> yeah, it means loads of... Leaves. Leaves, yeah. <laughs> right. Good job, everybody. Egbert, it is your time. It is my time. Uh, how, what, who have I got surrounding me? What's it looking like? Are you More checking skeletons out, yeah. in your immediate vicinity. Um, More skeletons immediate vicinity. Yeah, like within like melee range. Um, and then there's sort of just like a mob of them. Some of them have fallen down. Okay. Some of them are, are, are just not aware that there are spikes under their feet. Okay. 40 of them are over there being suspicious. How many would you say are within a sort of 15 foot? Cone? Cone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is grease flammable? Um, you know it. 
sake. 20, apparently. <laughs> so every last one of these <laughs> skeletons, despite the fact that only half of them fit in a tent, they could be stood on top of each other. Yeah, they're clambering over to get at us, obviously. I and then I turn the internal temperature dial up to cremation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I blast them with a breath weapon, my flame breath. Yep. To the point where they would all splinter into ash. Okay, remind me, because I have to make a saving throw here. You do, I? yeah. It's a deck save, a DC 12, it says. Okay. Eight plus const modifier plus proficiency bonus, which I should yep. really learn you, what... Just stop reading it out. Because <laughs> <Okay, good. laughs> you've already given me the information. Um, you know what? I'm just going to roll <laughs> twice to speed things up. Ten of the skeletons have rolled a one. <laughs> What was the difficulty? Uh, DC 12. Cool, because 10 of them have rolled an 8. <laughs> <laughs> and with their dex modifier, it brings them up to a 10. So, uh, yeah, how much damage are they all taking? Uh, it is a 2d6 damage on failed save. Oh, OK. Half well. as much on success. Well. So they still get hit, if, even if you'd succeeded. Yeah. They didn't succeed. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, roll 2d6. OK, cool. I got two. Oh, it's a six and a one, so seven. Seven, okay. That's certainly not half bad. Put them on. The maths. Done, okay, cool. Uh, Dob, what are you doing? You now time for the Dob plan. Thoroughly weakened skeletons. You know, like that bit in, you know the bit in Terminator 2, the ballad of Terminator 2. <laughs> uh, yes. That lady's hanging, like Sarah Connor's hanging onto the chain link fence. It's like, Bleh! Imagine if she was already a skeleton when the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so like she's losing ribs, like and like certainly no teeth, like like yeah, they they're not looking very well. That's intense. I shout, swing that hammer, Dob. Okay. Um, well, I really hope it doesn't mend the skeletons. <laughs> I should maybe test the hammer out on a healthier looking skeleton. Don't first. use your turn testing a hammer on a skeleton. <laughs> I'm not going to use my turn testing. A okay. Hmm. All right. What is I kind of hoped Egbert would hang on to this. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. it's a, all right, it's a tricky balancing act. I look around at my compatriots and I try and figure out what would they want me to do because on the one hand, yes, I can heal one of you, but that will be my whole turn. On the other hand, if we don't thin out these numbers, the next turn is going to be super savage. I am going to give you 25 seconds in real time to resolve this conversation. <gasps> okay. Oh, boy. Starting give him hell, dog. three, two, Rush one. Up. Okay, I've, uh, what I vote I, Thunderwave. Yeah, Thunderwave is, yes. How many? <laughs> but what I was thinking was, and I'm just going to tell you what the plan was, I thought if I took the hammer, tie a rope around the end, heat metal, scythe through all of the skeletons <laughs> in a great big spirograph. Do it. I'll hold down the barred stuff. Eight, yeah! I want to see that. 20. So let's go. 21. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, doing do that. It. We've got a plan. We've got no a plan. One's okay, down. what are you doing? We're fine. All right, okay. Um, uh, it's the most generous huddle up anyone <laughs> ever received in the history of Dungeons and Dragons. Thanks, Aww, Johnny. Thank you. Johnny. Uh, okay, um, so I take the hammer, I affix some hemp and rope nice and firmly to the end of it, and then I tell these guys to duck. They're probably on the floor already. Below, oh, yeah. Yeah, below waist height, guys. Uh, and then I cast heat metal on the business end of the hammer, and using my powerful orcish strength, but it's really more of an acrobatic feat if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hammer throw it round, and I get up some good speed, and then with nimble footwork, um, I move around uh, as many skeletons as I can in an arc to get then, yeah, obviously avoiding the spikes and the grease. Um, which is just not covering the whole battlefield, so that's obvious. Uh, yeah, I move in a circle around in a spirograph pattern that will mathematically, from above, you can imagine, do, 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 imagine like a, one of those Venn diagrams with dead skeletons in every, spirograph, yeah. in every Venn. Yeah, yeah. spirograph, I love this. That's the plan. Well, that certainly sounds like a dexterity acrobatics check to me. Yay! Job. You are looking to beat an armor class of 13. Oh, man. Come on. All right, Merylwen. Come on. Come on. 
Thanks, guys. Dob probably <laughs> can do it, let's face it. Go on, Dob, roll high. Shame oh, that this bit's completely random, David, isn't Dob. it? Did I give you inspiration earlier? Uh, let's see. Don't yeah, let's go yeah. with... Yeah? I think I meant... No, I meant to when you were like, it's, I know it's scary meeting new managers, etc., etc. That's how I remember things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, Dob. Roll high. That is a 16 Six. plus... That's, a That's 21 <laughs> plus That's two. Good. That is... 23. That's 23. I mean, you, you passed the roll anyway. Like, it, <laughs> the modifiers really don't matter. But, um, okay. Uh, what is the... <laughs> what is the damage on this weapon? I mean... Real, like a trillion, I think. I am basically, <laughs> basically what happens is... Um, you, I mean, you know what? You describe it, because I'm just going to tell you, you just killed 20 skeletons. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, um, yeah, with a kind of <laughs> and then the hammer just becomes a very white hot <laughs> Sorry, carry on. You were at white hot hammer. <laughs> yeah, white hot hammer. And just imagine 20 pelvises shattering so hard that the rest of the skeleton is atomized around. <laughs> Maybe just the little toes are like, eh. <laughs> And then they also poof into dust. <laughs> yeah, so basically, it's like you just see this this weird tornado uh, of of green and uh, and leather sort of like spin around, uh, and then there's a brief sort of fireworks display of little metatarsals, <laughs> that just like, poof, and they drift away on the wind. Um, and you've uh, that's fantastic to be honest, because you've only got forty skeletons left there. Ooh, to uh, take care of. Um, I'll just keep them a bit. <laughs> they, they are just for reference, rising up as one giant, massive sort of mecha, wow. humanoid yeah. skeleton monster. At, at this point, like genuinely, to, to break character for a minute, Luke, you, have you been looking at my notes? Because you have guessed every single thing. So. <laughs> You're like, oh, maybe I have to remake the door. Maybe there's a hammer in there. Maybe <laughs> they're going to become a giant skeleton. <laughs> At one point, you were like, maybe... Well, did you ask whether the hammer's the only thing that could hurt them? Yeah. Yeah, that was the plan. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, and yet my wisdom is only plus one. <laughs> well, I was asking Luke. Dumbass yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> And my wisdom is only plus one. <laughs> oh, no, no, I feel bad. Okay. Anyway, so we're back to, to Prudence and Coruscant. Um, and there, there is a, a just a big-ass giant mecha. Uh, it's a minosaur skeleton, basically. Some of, some of, the, uh, some of, the, the, um, some of the skeletons decided, Hi. you know what? I think they're, they're henching off in the midsection. I'm going to become horns. Guys, <laughs> we have to form up. I climb onto Dob's shoulders. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Dob, hold still. This is gonna be. <laughs> Dob. You're in trouble now, skeletons. I don't think this is helping Dob. <laughs> Dob, save me. <laughs> Alright, I don't do that. Instead. Are you sure? I know, it was fun. It's what fun I do instead, sure. I cast grease. <laughs> <laughs> the bigger they are, the harder they grease. Yes. Um, all right. Yeah, fine. Uh, so you cast grease. Presumably, I'm guessing, underneath the feet of the massive. Ideally, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, fine. What's my uh, difficulty save for this? Uh, oh, spell my save. spell save. Spell save DC. It should be actually on the sheet. You yes, uh, 14. 14. Look at you. I rolled a one. Corazon! Hey! must be covered in grease. Corazon! Cara, no one's running in. All right. That thing must be covered in grease. Like, it's, rent, it certainly is now. And uh, it said that some of them had formed some pretty top heavy horns. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe fall into some spikes. Let's not push it. <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, the, the skeleton really stacks it. Like, you've never seen a skeleton be winded before. Look for a, so <laughs> you reckon they've just about managed it. Pretty good for someone so, without a diaphragm. Yeah. 
They, you'd think. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they down. Prudence, what are you gonna do? And you all said Greece was stupid. <laughs> Does anyone see a bit that's flashing? <laughs> <laughs> An orange weak point. I, I, I use my magical instincts to look for a bit that's flashing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you guys could be as close to that eye roll as I <laughs> Pretty sure they felt it in the back, actually. <laughs> yes, of course you may. Good. In the interest of time. Good. Um, in yeah, that's an intelligence arcana check. Okay, um, do that. I mean, gosh, it's such a big monster. Let's just call it a 10, why not? <laughs> That is a 24. <laughs> oh. This is a can of that's lager. A, um, <laughs> that's a natural 20. You should lead with that. Is that a it's natural a, it's 20? It's a natural 20. Lead with that's the natural cool. 20. Prudence, is there anything that you want to borrow? Slide me the hammer. <laughs> no slide across the grease. I'm oh. on the floor because of the disemboweling. Uh, with one hand, I stuff my guts back in. <laughs> oh, yeah. And with the other Hardcore. hand, Hardcore. I like beckon the hammer over, slide it. Oh, 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 on oh. The floor. Do like, do like a Thor it. thing and I'll slide it so it's like you're summoning it. <coughs> cool. I cast Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> Did that work? I'm so inspired. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, yes, you now have the hammer and your intestines are where they ought to be for now. Um, so I, I assume you're just, you know what, you, you rolled a 20, why don't you just have at it with the hammer? <laughs> all right, all right, really? I, I, I imagine this area, this whole deal is a glowing magic. Pretty much, to you it's just like, oh, right. it's a giant orange skeleton. Oh, okay, I wind up, yep. wind up, you know, several times, just kind of whirl it around, you oh. know, here and there, and you know, like a baton, like a... Yeah? No, 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 and then... Uh, staggering slightly, but still impressively, I kind of wheel over to the Voltron skeleton and just kind of hammer down like a fun fair, like strength tester, wow. where it's lying on the floor and just, let's say the face area, just uh, right in the kind of scully faceplate. Okay. Uh, with the hammer. So as you, as you finish spinning and you start to bring the hammer up, yes. time slows down for you. Oh. Completely. No, 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 no. Like nice. it's. Ooh. It, Everything moves like treacle, and ah, you, the one. Hear, <laughs> you hear the sound of uh, like the depths of the ocean in your ears, and you smell the salt of the sea, and seaweed, and corruption, and rot. I love and it. You feel like you yourself are glowing brighter than this absolutely massive skeleton mass which in its own slow motion way is reaching up to you and saying, maybe we can read a book. <laughs> <laughs> and as you bring the hammer down, it just, there's a, there's a weird, there's a seconds delay. You go, boom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as what were formerly 40 skeletons explode into the air like, that bit in the end of the famous sea shanty Jaws. Yes. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 yeah. They Love start it. to rain down. There is a mournful cry that seemingly comes from nowhere but sounds utterly, utterly monstrous. <laughs> and even though you're not covered in blood for once, if anything, you're just covered in chalk and bone. Yeah. <laughs> you're having a great time. And Cthulhu, let me tell you, is definitely, definitely pleased. And... Um, as you, uh, as the dust settles around you and the last of the flames flicker out, it seems like the, the, the fire sort of dies down and then is taken up somewhere else, like, like a tune going from ear to ear or a word being passed of some great deeds from tavern to tavern, and then you realize it's just torches in the hands of some people and they are all holding pitchforks, and they are just basically saying, please leave. <laughs> In fact, what man you like your town goes, hall? <laughs> we built you a pub. You are burned from bum. <laughs> Bull, <laughs> get out. And Can we keep this hammer?
He's reaching for a dice. The dice says yes. Yay! Yes. Yes! <laughs> All right. And I think for my sake, we shall end it. <laughs> Once, now we're at a safe, now we're at a safe distance. Can I cast a song of rest just to heal us all up? Just because it's unlikely we'll get a chance to stop before we do. No. No need to. Oh, no. no. I got it. <laughs> everyone is fine. Hooray! <laughs> uh, thanks so much for coming out, everyone. Thank, That's thank you, guys. Oh, really. Sixty skeletons. It, yeah, it's been a, like I think it's fair to say that we've well, we've done four live shows in three weekends and yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, awesome. The rose crowd is. So lovely. It feels like coming home, and yeah, it's been a, an on, honestly. Thank you so much for coming. It's great. So thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>